Well, hello, good people. What you see on the screen is called efficiency nodes for Comfy UI. I'm going to go ahead and generate an example image for you. And I think one of the most obvious things you'll notice is that there's not a lot of noodles hanging around here. There you go. The image is done. If I break this apart, that's it. That's all we got. For whatever reason, YouTube suggested a video to me by Pixelvert. Shout out to him. He has no clue who I am, but I immediately checked it out and loved the setup. If you're new to Comfy UI, this may not make sense to you, but for those of you that are using it and learning it like I am, You'll notice here on the efficient loader section, we have our CKPT loader right here, a section for VAE, clip skip, our LoRa's, and even the strength and clip strength. As we move down, we have our positive and negative prompts, and at the bottom, our latent image section. Right beside it, we have an efficient case sampler, and as I showed you earlier, it simply connects just like that. It's got all the connections here on the left. Now, just for context, here's an SDXL workflow that I created. We have our positive and negative prompts here, our checkpoint loader. We have our clip encoders for both positive and negative. Of course, our samplers, VAE, and the save image. Oh, my, uh, my latent image section is hidden there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections here, as opposed to the three we looked at. I realize this is a very basic setup. This will look a lot more messier as I develop new workflows, but at least the necessary stuff you need is all found in this one efficient loader. Now it's very easy to install. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You want to make sure you find Luciano Serino. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And it's called efficiency nodes comfy UI. As we scroll down, you see there's a direct download link. Let's click on that and it's going to download to your downloads folder. I encourage you to read through this because it gives you some information on what this is all about. And there's also some examples here for like high res fix, XY plotting and the image overlay. And the installation is super simple. Once you've downloaded the file, just right click, select extract all. You'll see this folder here and you can copy and paste it into your comfy UI folder. So you want to navigate to your main comfy UI folder and under custom nodes, you want to open that up and then you can hit control C, control V to paste it into this folder. If you're on windows 11, you could simply just drag it in and drop it into this folder. I've already done that. So you see it here, efficiency nodes, comfy UI. Now that method was for those of you that don't have the custom manager here. I'll also leave a link in the description below on how you can do that. But for those of you that do have the manager, all you have to do is open that up, click on install custom nodes. You should be able to search for efficiency and you'll see it right here. Efficiency nodes for comfy UI and the author is Luciano. You would just click install and restart comfy UI. Simple as that. Once you start up Comfy UI, right click, click on add node, select efficiency nodes. And we're going to start off with the loaders, click on loaders, efficient loader. Next, we're going to right click again, add node, efficiency nodes, sampling, case sampler efficient, and connect the dots. That's pretty much all you need to do. No need for the extra steps. If you want to save the image, just grab on the image node here and select save image. Let's open that up a bit. We can drag this down so that we get the preview. And if you want to change color in case you don't know, you just have to right click. There's an option here for colors. I know let's make this blue. Let's make this area red. Did I say blue? I meant purple for this. And yeah, you're ready to go. Let's choose MBB XL Ultimate. This time I'm gonna put the Juggernaut Cine XL LoRa. Let's do a 768 by 1024 image. We'll just do 25 steps. Euler Ancestral Preview Method. We'll choose Latent to RGB and we'll generate the image. If you're a keyboard shortcut person, control enter is to generate. It's kind of universal. So we see it going through the efficient loader. It's going to hop over to the case sampler here. We start to see the preview. 
and our final image. Now we have venom coming out of the ground. <laughs> But yeah, that was super simple to do, at least for a basic setup. I'm going to expand on this more, try to add my upscaling method. I'm also learning how to do image to image and in painting. So stick around for those videos to come. If you happen to be using this already, I'd love to hear from you. Perhaps you have some pointers for me. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.